So head and neck cancer is uh, in general a curable disease, but once it becomes recurrent or metastatic, the prognosis is very poor. And unfortunately, over the last uh, few decades, we've seen very little progress. Our treatments really don't work well. Chemotherapy doesn't prolong survival that much. Cetuximab uh, barely touches survival, um, but it's incremental. So um, I think it was a pretty dismal field up until about recently when we saw activity of PD-1 agents, both pembrolizumab and tivolumab in this disease. Um, these agents have a response rate, a single agent that's on the order of 13 to 20 percent. But more importantly, they have a major impact on overall survival. About 40 percent of patients are alive at one year, a number that seems to be unreached with, uh, with other treatments. And what is really interesting when you look at these survival curves with single agent immunotherapies is that even though they fall at the beginning quite rapidly, they become very flat towards the end. We call that the tail at the end of the curve. And so some patients those that have responses or prolonged stable disease really have striking benefit with a drug that's arguably very non-toxic, uh, well tolerated, but really does prolong survival. So I always say these drugs impact overall survival in a very significant way, um, while response rate and progression-free survival are not good markers of benefit. And you know, that's what we really want. We want drugs that make you live longer, um, and overall survival is the right outcome measure for that.